So if we're talking about throwing and the rhythm of throwing, right? We always talk about catch, throw, receive, okay? So basically, you're gonna right, left, catch, right, left, throw, okay? How many of you are left-handed? Oh, perfect, makes it easy, right? So we're gonna have an athletic position, right? Whenever you're receiving a ball, you should be athletic. I don't care if you're at first base doing a force receive, third base about to put a tag on, right? We're gonna be in an athletic position. So we're athletic, we're gonna go right, left, catch, right? Or it might be right, left, catch, right? And then straight into right, left, throw. Right? Eliminating extra steps, eliminating excess movement, right? Keeping everything streamlined. If you have to change directions, we can do that too. Okay? But that's the basic fundamental. RLC, RLT. Right left catch, right left throw. It rhymes, it should be easy to remember. Okay? Now, biggest things, right? When we're catching, making sure that our foot and the ball are catching at the same time. We're getting full extension on those force plays. And then if we're making tag plays, keeping our hands home nice and quiet. Okay? So when you guys throw, I want you to build in both of those, right? Some force receives. You can build in some tag plays, you can build in some transfers, you can build in some cuts, right? You can do all kinds of stuff, but don't waste your warm-up not getting better, right? You guys warm up to throw every single day. If you don't actively use your receiving time and your throwing time, you just wasted 15 minutes of your day, okay? You can get 30 good reps on different things out there, and then you don't have to spend your time doing them individually. Does that make sense?